In another video, I discussed the concept of covered interest arbitrage, and I want to continue that discussion by talking about interest rate parity. Now, if we assume that covered interest arbitrage opportunities do not exist, then there must be a relationship between spot and future exchange rates relative to interest rates. Um, interest rate parity defines what that forward rate should be. And the exact equation says that the forward rate divided by the spot rate equals the ratio of 1 plus the foreign um, country's interest rate divided by 1 plus the um, U.S.'s interest rate. Now, you can approximate this by, rather than taking the, um, the ratio of these, having the difference between RF, uh, R, the rate of the foreign country minus the rate of the U.S. So the percentage change here, or the percentage differential between the forward rate and the spot rate is going to be approximately equal to the differential between the two interest rates. And we can also um, do a little manipulation here. We multiply both sides by S0, and then we add S0 to both sides, and we factor out the S0. So we get this equation. Uh, the forward rate equals the spot rate times 1 plus the difference between the two interest rates. So let's take a look at an example. Suppose currently half a pound sterling is equal to one U.S. dollar. So that's the exchange rate, half a pound um, per U.S. dollar. And suppose that the interest rate in the U.S. is 10% and the interest rate in England is 5%. What must be the one year for what? What must the one year forward rate be? to prevent covered interest arbitrage. So if we use the approximation, we can use this formula here, spot rate, which was half a pound, times one plus the difference between the two interest rates, and the difference is the, the rate in England minus the rate in the U.S. And so the rate in the U.S. is actually higher, so it's going to be um, 0.475 pounds. It's going to be uh, 0.5 pounds times 1 plus minus 0 0.05 so you're going to get um, 0.475 pounds. If we want the ex exact relationship then we can plug into the equation that it's a half a pound times the ratio of these two and you see you're pretty close 0.477 pounds per US dollar as opposed to 0.475. But that's what interest rate parity says, that if there's, if there's no arbitrage opportunity, we have a relationship between this spot rate, the forward rate, and the relative interest rates of the two countries.